After weeks of insisting he would not step aside, this announcement. In order to enable the political process to go forward and form the new government, I am withdrawing my nomination from the post of Prime Minister in favor of the dear brother Haider al-Abadi for the sake of the best interests of the country. It's a country at war with itself as well as against the Islamic State group. Kurds and Sunnis had insisted that Maliki be replaced, but he had also lost support from his own Shia allies. Crucially, even the Shia religious leadership urged him to step down, convinced that he could no longer hold the country or the Shia community together. Maliki had insisted that his political bloc won the largest number of votes and that the move to replace him amounted to a political coup. I face a ferocious personal attack by some who claim that I was protesting out of my personal interest, but I was only carrying my duties in protecting the constitution. Maliki became prime minister eight years ago when the country was in the grip of civil war. He presided over Iraq regaining its sovereignty after U.S. occupation, and in 2011 oversaw the exit of U.S. troops. Although he alienated his political allies, until recently he retained considerable popular support. In one of his boldest moves in 2008, he sent the Iraqi army into Basra to retake the city from Shia militias. Despite that, Maliki's political legacy is seen as a sectarian one. Under his watch, Sunni protests erupted across the country, accusing his government of marginalizing and mistreating them. That anger against Maliki's government and its security forces was fertile ground for the Islamic State group. When IS fighters moved into Iraq's second largest city of Mosul, they met no resistance as Iraqi army commanders appointed by Maliki disappeared. In 2006, Maliki was a compromise candidate, not seen as a threat to anyone. He ends his term viewed as a threat to almost everyone. With this announcement, Maliki now becomes a caretaker prime minister until a new government is formed. He's still a member of parliament, and among the posts he could be offered are vice president or deputy prime minister. Although he's stepping aside, no one expects him to disappear. Jane Araf, Al Jazeera, Erbil.